What's up guys, Dr. Typo here and I am back on Grand Theft Auto Online to show you the changes that Rockstar made to the Mission Coveted in patch 1.14 just in case you hadn't seen them yet. Now the changes they made are pretty extensive in terms of the fact that they moved a lot of guys around and they even up some of the weapons that some of these guys have. Two of them actually have RPGs which could be a problem if you don't kill them but fortunately they're both standing right next to an explosive barrel and it's, it's hard not to kill them. But as you can see, they put a lot more jeeps and crates and all sorts of other things, you know, lots of guys here to shoot as well. And so they made it a little bit more difficult if you're running down the hill solo. However, you can still just sit at the top of the mountain and just snipe at them. And then if you're doing it, you know, co-op, then this, is, this mission is definitely still just as easy as it was before because one person snipes, one person runs down, and it's, it's just that easy. Now, despite the fact that they did move a bunch of guys around and they made it a bit more challenging to get down to the objective, one of the biggest changes they did was put on a little bit of a time limit here. You will actually have two minutes from the start of the mission to get down to the objective and secure the area. So what that means is you're going to have to get down there, kill everybody, and that includes the guy who's going to get out of the chopper once it arrives. And if you're not paying much attention when you're playing on solo, it can be easy to overlook that objective and completely forget that you're even being timed. Now, fortunately, you don't have to wait very long for the cargo bob to arrive. It will actually arrive right around the 22nd mark, and it's just as simple as it was before. With the, uh, the way the mission was set up before, all you got to do is get in the cargo bob and go pick up the crate, which they have moved a little bit farther away, and then they actually moved the drop-off site even further away. That's actually you know about the longest part of this mission it'll take you about two minutes and, and about 15 seconds to get to the objective and they also put a chopper in here that will chase you to the objective however you shouldn't have many problems with that chopper because i outran it easily and it didn't even take any fire from it whatsoever all you really have to do is make sure that the guys with the RPGs are dead. As long as that happens, then you should have no problem getting the chopper, getting the crate, and getting out of there. Easy 15,000 if you're playing it on normal. And at level 36, that is a good chunk of change. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Take two and call me in the morning.